going on guys Corey back here with another unboxing video today we have universal yums uh, this box is new to me it's my first month it is for April obviously um, so basically what universal yums is is every month they give you food from around the world so each month is a different country and I have not obviously gone into it yet and I haven't eaten today I've been waiting I am really excited to see what's in here it's a little smaller than I thought it would be it's like kind of like book sized I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger but hey you know food is food and I like food uh, I'm gonna grab a knife here also crazy thing this literally blew my mind is when I got my s7 edge my galaxy you it had a free promo offer of uh, the Samsung VR headset this thing right here it's powered by oculus and I've never done virtual reality before it, I it was insane look forward to videos from that thing because it will blow your mind I couldn't like I watched Mythbusters like a Mythbusters little short of like where sharks are and they're just coming at your face and it's it's kind of very disorienting because when you, you look down you can't see your feet and like your hands you can't see your hands which is kind of weird and I thought I was gonna fall over a bunch of times but anyway this is about Universal Yums uh, I'll leave a description down below for uh, Universal Yums and videos with the VR headset are definitely coming soon because it is an insane thing anyway Universal Yums is about $13.99 a month plus shipping I do believe uh, don't quote me on that it might be different depending they might have different sizes I'm not entirely sure it's been a little while since I checked but we can check down in the description below with that link so let's get into it I'm a little hungry uh, a lot of tape here luckily I brought my knife this time I usually forget it don't cut towards yourself like I almost just did because it's not safe I'm never supposed to do that I do it all the time do we open this? Okay, got it. So. so. I thought it was Portugal. I got the P right. Apparently it's Poland. Right there. So that's... This is going to be Polish food. So I've never had anything. This is just a little booklet. Um, pizza in Poland is often topped with A, B, or C. Ketchup, sour cream, mayonnaise, or spaghetti sauce. So it's just like little questionnaire and then what's inside uh, marvels of Poland so it gives you like uh, some features about Poland like the crooked forest Polish playlist you can go to universal yums.com slash tunes to go listen to some Polish music right now they include a next box uh, next month's box in little white houses perched by the sea, the people munch on olives and slurp saffron tea. If you don't like what they like, you're more than just crazy. You might upset the gods in winds, in the wind up in Hades. So I'm gonna assume that's Greece. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I, I Hades, Greek mythology. I can only imagine. Some tissue paper. Can't eat that. What is this? I'm gonna butcher 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 words here uh because i can't read polish i know it's crazy um also i'm gonna give a thumbs up or thumbs down i've seen it in another video so if i would like to eat it again i'll give it a thumbs up but if i don't like it i'll give it a thumbs down um uh, i don't know where in stores i would ever find prazuinki prazuinki there's a little bear on it uh osmaku sibuli uh, I don't know what any of this says, so let's just try it. Let's get into it. Maybe it's probably not bear flavored. Oh. Okay, so it's sour cream. Is it sour cream and onion? I'm not sure. And they're not like wicked crunchy. They're a little soft. It's like if you left a Frito out for a little... No, not even a Frito. Like a chip just out for a really long time. They're not bad. They're not great. But I keep going back, so it must mean something. <laughs> I don't know. I want to know what flavor this is. It'll tell me in the book. I'm going to look. It's really weird. Watch. It's going to be like fish or something. I'm going to 
not be happy about it. Onion potato. Okay. That's what I thought. It was kind of like sour cream and onion. But it's just onion. What else does it say? Yeah, like, it's like crunch. Yeah, it's like a, it's a soft crunch. It's good. I mean, it's not great, but it's not horrible. I'll probably eat them all. No, no, no. Alright, let's move on. Choco cow. Right there, little bit choco cow. So this is just gonna be a cookie in the shape of a cow. I'm gonna assume. I like cookies. I like cows. I like chocolate shaped cows. Let's try this. Ooh. Come on, open up. Yeah, just a chocolate shaped cow. It's like an animal cracker, but with chocolate on it. Mm. It's kind of a... The chocolate's a little minty at first. It's not minty. What is this? It's not minty. It's kind of minty. <laughs> I'm so good at explaining flavors here. It's really good. Chocolate cow. The chocolate cow, on the other hand. I would get it. Yeah, thumbs up. We got, ooh, is this taffy? Slick, mm. slick, wow, that's not taffy. It is a little chocolate ball thing. Well, screw it. Whoa, whoa. What the hell is that? I thought it was marshmallow. But not marshmallow. It's not bad, it's very, it's like a fruity center. What the fuck? I can't read Polish. I don't know what this is. Like a dried fruit, like a dried peach inside some chocolate. It's really, it was really jarring. I, I was not expecting that. It definitely had the consistency of marshmallow. I'm gonna give that a thumbs down. <laughs> Prince Polo, OD 1995 Roku. Or Chet, or, or is that Chow? Or is that Chow? Well, I don't know what that is. Let's try it. Let us try it. I'm making a mess of my desk. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing, obviously. It's like, um, what are those? Like, wait, it's like a wafer cookie. Uh huh. It's a wafer cookie. Oh, it's a really fucking good wafer cookie. Mm hmm. Oh, this one has. This one's in English. Mm. I like wafer cookies. Chocolate. I'm just jock away from cookie. Good shit. Chalwa. Chalwa? Chalwa. Kroweska. So it's some. It's like milk chocolate with some nuts in it. Right there. Some nuts. Ooh, no, no. Let's try it. Let us try it. Definitely milk chocolate. Oh. Definitely not milk chocolate. A little, like a uh, so grainy a little bit. That was chocolate. Whoa. It's very peanut buttery or peanutty. It's like it's like a grainy peanut butter cookie. It's kind of like a nut butter, but that you left out a long time. I'm really good at describing foods by using other foods that have been gone stale. But it does, it's what it tastes like. I think a big reason why uh, I didn't like the chocolate covered peach thing was because 
When I was a kid, I wasn't a big fan of chocolate. I know it's surprising to some, a lot of people. They're like, chocolate? You don't like it? How do you not like that? Well, I don't know. I just grew up not being uh, very loving of it. I didn't even read this part up for you guys. Sorry. This next one is Kata... See, the reason why I didn't read it is because I can't fucking pronounce the name. Katarazuki. Katarazuki. It's like a little chocolate thing again. So, I've definitely got better with eating chocolate as I've grown older. I think maybe just because it was like bitter when I was little. I didn't like it. Inside, you want to see that right there? Mm. It's like a uh, more cookie. Chocolate covered cookie. Ooh. Whoa. It's gingerbread. Chocolate covered soft gingerbread. This is good. Remind me of Christmas. Mm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thumbs up on that one. Mm. This is panna cotta. In a bar. Chocolate bar with panna cotta in it. Raspberry. Milk chocolate with panna cotta flavor filling. Sounds interesting. I've never had panna cotta. So, there's a first for everything. And it comes in little pieces here. A little panna cotta filling. That's fantastic. Alright, let's try it. Oh! Mmm, that was good. You bite into it and the raspberry just pops in your mouth. Mmm. That was good shit. Alright, thumbs up. What else we got here? We got two milky creamy fudge. More cows. Right there. Oh, right there. Cow. So this, I feel, is just gonna be like a happy thing, maybe? Or caramel. It's caramel. Oh, very soft caramel. Ooh. Mm, this is good. A little cross section there. You know, look at that. Come on, camera, focus. It's got like more wet caramel on the inside. Oh, you see that? Ready? When you tear it apart, they're like. Dicks. Alright, this is good. But this might be the best thing so far. Mmm, definitely. We'll do two right there. Ba boom. The last thing, there is two. Raxiki? Raxiki candies? Well, well, that's the company, I guess. Let's try it out. I know, I bring knives and I don't use them. I'm silly. Ooh, okay. So by the looks of it, kind of looks like it's gonna be like pepperminty. It's not pepperminty. How do you eat this? Do I chew it? I'm gonna chew it. It's hard. I'm not. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. good stuff in the box. Other times it's not such good stuff. <coughs> Hold on. Wait a second. Maybe you're not supposed to bite it. Because the aftertaste is a lot better. It was very overwhelming. Still though, even I don't know how I feel about this one. It was good. It wasn't good. I don't know why I said it's good. It was it was awful. It was bad. That was that was two thumbs down. That was the worst thing so far. Well, I don't know. The fig thing was pretty shitty too. Well, I'm gonna say No, this was definitely the worst thing. Worst thing so far. 
in the box. This is the last thing in the box, and it was the worst. We ended on a really bad note. Uh, best thing is definitely this this caramel. That was really good. And then the chips, chips are really good. And and this 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 was really good. The uh, the wafer cookie definitely definitely good. Mm. I hope you guys liked watching me eat a bunch of food from a different country. And Polish people, I hope you don't get mad at me because I don't know how to pronounce anything. But uh, definitely check out where universalyums.com right there. Don't look at my address. God, what are you guys trying to do here? Universalyums.com. Uh, yeah, like I said, every month they choose a new country to highlight their food. And it's pretty exciting. And it was pretty quick shipping. Got here in two days from what they sent it. So if you guys want to check it out, definitely go check it out. I'll leave a link down below. And uh, other than that, I will be back with more videos. Definitely with this VR right here. Because it's fucking awesome. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Pssh.